the naturally occurring form of amino acid in proteins are option a l amino acids only option b d amino acids only option c both l and d option d none of these your time starts now you have 7 seconds to answer The answer is L amino acids only. Question number two. Which of the following is a non-protein amino acid? Option A ornithine, option B tyrosine, C proline, D arginine. The answer is ornithine and this is a structure of ornithine which is primarily involved in urea cycle. Question number three. Which of the following amino acid has a net positive charge at physiological pH? Option A. Isoleucine B. Lysine C. Valine D. Leucine The answer is lysine which is a positively charged amino acid as you see here in this structure. And this is your scorecard. You can watch our video on 50 facts on amino acids before attempting this quiz. Or let us move to the next question. Which are the three amino acids with aromatic side chains? Option A. Phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan. Option B. Phenylalanine threonine tryptophan. Option C. Lysine arginine histidine. Option D. Valine leucine and isoleucine. The answer is option A, phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. As you see here, all these amino acids has this aromatic side chain. Question number 5. Glycine and proline are the most abundant amino acids in the structure of A. Collagen, B. Hemoglobin, C. Insulin, D. Myoglobin. The answer is collagen which is rich in glycine and proline. Question number 6. Indol ring is present in Option A. Arginine B. Tryptophan C. Histidine D. Proline The answer is tryptophan and this is the indole ring. Question number 7. The amino acid that serves as a precursor to dopamine is Option A. Glycine B. Phenylalanine C. Serine D. Tyrosine The answer is tyrosine, which is a precursor of dopamine. Question number 8. Which is a ketogenic amino acid? Option A. Alanine B. Glutamic Acid C. Leucine D. Aspartic Acid The answer is leucine. Question number 9. Amino acid that serves as precursor for formation of the melanin pigment responsible for human skin color is Option A. Indolamine B. Tyrosine C. Valine D. Tryptophan The answer is tyrosine, which is a precursor of melanin pigment. Question number 10. Which of the following amino acid is non-polar? Option A. Asparagine, B. Glutamine, C. Lysine, D. Leucine. The answer is leucine, which is a non-polar amino acid. Question number 11. Which of the following is the uncharged derivative of an acidic amino acid? Option A. Serine B. Glutamine C. Tyrosine D. Glycine The answer is glutamine. Question number 12. Guanidium group is present in A. Proline B. Tryptophan C. Arginine D. Histidine The answer is arginine. 
Question number 13. Which is the precursor of amino acid glycine? Option A. Valine. B. Glutamic acid. C. Tyrosine. D. Serine. The answer is serine. Question number 14. Which non-protein amino acid is also a neurotransmitter? Option A. Kappa. B. Ornithine. C. Glutathione. D. Aspartame. The answer is Kappa or Gamma Amino Butric Acid. Question number 15. Which of the following are sulfur-containing amino acids? Option A, glycine and cysteine. Option B, cysteine and methionine. C, tryptophan and methionine. Option D, cysteine and tyrosine. The answer is methionine and cysteine. Both are sulfur-containing amino acids. Question number 16. The amino acid which has maximum buffering capacity at physiological pH is Option A. Arginine Option B. Alanine Option C. Histidine Option D. Glutamic Acid The answer is histidine which has the maximum buffering capacity at physiological pH. Question number 17. The most common helix breakers are Option A, proline and alanine. Option B, proline and glycine. Option C, proline and arginine. Option D, proline and tryptophan. The answer is proline and glycine. Question number 18. Which of the following is the simplest amino acid? Option A, glycine. Option B, valine. Option C, alanine. Option D, lysine. The answer is glycine, which is a simplest amino acid where the side chain is a hydrogen, as you see here. Question number 19. Which amino acid is commonly used in site-directed mutagenesis to determine the role of a specific residue? Option A, valine, B, glycine, C, leucine, D, alanine. The answer is alanine. The process is called as alanine scanning. And the final question, the precursor of ethylene in plants is option A, methionine, B, glycine, C, cysteine, D, glutamic acid. The answer is methionine, which is a precursor of ethylene. Hope you are benefited from this video. Comment your score below. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologicsumsforit.com.